Missing the party. Come on. Greetings, tribe, and welcome to this edition of Snacking with Ortega. Now, I know I've done chili in the past, but that's my, like, signature chili. Tonight, what I'm doing is emergency quick chili. Just got back from Chicago, really craving chili, and I just don't have everything I need on hand to make it proper. I do have the ingredients on hand to make a quick, easy, super satisfying chili to get you through a cold winter night. Now, I generally have a pretty well stocked, you know, refrigerator and pantry, so in case I need to throw some stuff together, I've always got everything I kind of need for the basics. So, we got celery, always got an onion on hand, ground beef, diced tomato, chili beans, also got some diced green chilies, pickled jalapeno, some verde sauce. Step one, gonna brown my burger. Burgers brown, I'm gonna chop up this onion and this celery. Now this is a small batch, so I'm gonna use half this onion. Ground beef's about finished. We're going to go ahead and add this celery and onion into it. Now, though I forgot to mention it with the other ingredients, garlic. I think it goes without saying. You're going to put, can put garlic in it because you're cooking it, right? I mean, how often is there something you're cooking where you don't add garlic? Garlic's in. Now many of the things have changed with this recipe as compared to my actual one. Now there's a lot different with what I'm doing here than with my regular chili, but one thing that always stands is one can beans, one can diced tomatoes to each half pound of meat. That's just what I go by. One pound meat, two cans tomatoes. Me, two can beans. The green chilies, when I make a big old batch, I usually use two cans of these. Smaller batch, use one. Take some of our Mrs. Renfro's pickled jalapenos. I believe that's the superior brand. A little bit of Miss Renfro's green. A little regular salsa. Some Worcestershire. Standard chili powder. Two packets of Goya Sazon. A little Dobo. Cuban. And as this is not really a recipe, we're just kind of throwing something together. I still got a little bit of chipotle pepper and adobo left from making sweet potatoes the other night. A smoky smoke going on. So one thing I really love is just taking what you have on hand, be it some leftovers, some canned product, and going ahead and whipping up a tasty soup. It's 
needs a little more juice to it. So I'm just gonna take one of these cans of Spicy V8. And I always love to add in sweet corn. Gonna lid this up, gonna let it simmer for about 30, 45 minutes. Let everything kind of come together. So we're gonna heat it up, bowl it up, and we're gonna eat it up. Something like that. See you back here in about 30. Our soup is simmered for about 40 minutes. Let it sit and cool off a little bit. Glorious chili. watching back through the Nick Gage Invitational that I was just at this past weekend. Uh, Semi-final round. Oh, and here comes 440 coming out jumping on Takeda because they're sad bitches. Great fucking show. This, like I said, this isn't my normal chili recipe. I didn't have everything I wanted, but I really wanted some chili. So I took what I had, came up with this, just proving you can make good, tasty, healthy food with just stuff sitting around the house if you just use a little improvisation. Good smoke from the chipotles, I like a little crisp from the corn, gives a little sweet bite to it. For no more thought and effort than winning this, this is a goddamn good chili. I'm gonna finish watching this show again. Hope you've enjoyed this quick soup recipe today. Remember, like, share, subscribe to the channel, join the tribe, help our channel grow, check out our merch on Teespring, check out our Patreon, become a supporter. And with that, I bid you adieu. Well, yeah, fuck you too. Bye-bye.